welcome to the next Photoshop uh, training video using the pen tool. Last time we used uh, the pen tool to create straight lines, this time we're going to look at curved paths. You can see I've got my um, Photoshop file here all set up. Just going to just zoom in a little bit here. That's good. So curved paths. Okay, so just as a recap, we used the pen tool before to uh, draw the straight lines by clicking on points to draw the lines between hand. You don't actually click and drag to draw the line, uh, you just click on one point. But what happens if you want a bendy line, if you want a curve, how do you do that? Well, we've created a background layer here for you so that you can be able to uh, get an idea of where you want to drag to. So just as a word of explanation, I've um, got the pen tool selected on the left hand side, so make sure you've got that. And you see we've got the A, that's where you click and hold the mouse button down. You will then move the mouse button up to the red when you will let go of the mouse button. And then you'll go to the B, hold the mouse button down and drag down. If you're in any doubt, have a quick watch of this. So I'm going to go over the A, click and hold my mouse button down, drag up to the red dot, and let go. Make sure you let go of the mouse. In fact, I've taken my hands completely off the mouse at this time. Let's do the B point. So go to the B, click and hold the mouse button down, drag down to the red dot, let go. And notice the arc, yeah? So you can see that the pen tool has automatically joined the arc between the one and the um, A and the B. So now we're going to go to the C. Notice that the next line is going to go in a convex uh, manner into a U shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold my mouse button down on C. I'll drag up to the red dot up here. And you can see the lines drawn here. As with me, don't worry if you're, you don't know, click exactly on the grey dot there. And we'll go across to D. And the same, we're going to click drag down. Now this is an open path, so do you remember which button you press on the keyboard so that you can uh, deselect that path? That's right, it's the control key. So hold down the control key, click away, and then you can see that your path is there. So it's ready to do the next one. So let's try that one again. So we're going to go over to E and F. Now wherever you drag your mouse is the direction that the curve will go. So as I said before, you don't draw the line. You dr click and then drag the direction you want the next curve to go. So we're going to click once on the E, drag up to the red dot, let go. Make sure you don't press the mouse button at the moment, you're just moving across to the F. You click and hold your mouse button down on F, drag up to the red dot. And you see the direction of the line, because I dragged to the E, the line goes up. And then because I dragged up to the F, because this following line here, the, um, the other, they call these control handles, go down, the line goes up, down and up. Sort of like a little hilly range there. Deselect, control click away. That's great. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a circle. So I'm just going to pan that up a bit so you can see. So we're going to start off with G, drag up to the red dot here, go across down to H, and drag down to the red dot here. Then I go across to G again, and notice the circle. I can click and drag up. So there you go. If you want any more details, please see www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thank you for listening.